Welcome back to the series on screencasting. In the last video, we looked at the basics of editing and what footage looks like and what it does when we import it into our timeline. In this video, we're going to be doing more editing and pulling different footages together. Right now, what we have is a screencast of me showing you some things. So let's say we want more than that. We want footage of our face or maybe some slides. Let's first start by importing those things into the project window. And like I mentioned before, we can do that by dragging or just double clicking the window. Once they're imported, we're just going to drag them into the timeline. If you look at our timeline now, now we have a video of our screencast, a video of us talking, and a couple pictures of slides I want to show. Perfect. Let's say at this point of the screencast I'd like to show my face and talk about something. To do that we'll scroll to the point we want to cut, splice it with the razor tool, and splice a section of our footage from our talking head, and just drag them apart like this. Then we can recombine them here, kind of like puzzle pieces. Let's say you want to tell the audience about something more in detail and you'd like to show a slide. Well, you can drag it to the new track on top of your current footage. Like we talked about before, the things on top will show first. So if we play our footage now, you can see that all we see is the slide. We can change the size of the slide by selecting its video track and going to the left-hand side box and adjusting the scale. And you can, of course, adjust the position as well. At this point, you might have noticed that although you're moving your video tracks, your audio tracks are moving along as well. And they might be overlapping and creating a bit of chaos. So to separate these two tracks, all we do is press Command L or unlink. Unlinking these will allow us to move the audio and videos around separately. If there's a part of a video we don't want, we can just trim it by dragging it or slicing it with the razor tool and then selecting it and deleting it with the delete key on our keyboard. Feel free to move these things around to your liking. Once you've put together your footages, move the marker to the beginning and press play to preview your creation. You can also do this while you're editing, just to make sure you have everything you might want in your edit. In the next video, I'm going to talk about some effects that you can add to your video to spice it up a bit. We will also talk about animations and zooming and panning. So I hope to see you in the next video.